Hey, hello everyone, El Guapo here again. Uh, I thought I would give you a nice video review of The Green Zone, starring Matt Damon, Greg Kinnear, and uh, Brendan Gleeson. And this is the new action movie that is uh, being directed by Paul Greengrass, who did The Bourne Ultimatum and The Bourne Supremacy. Uh, the movie takes place in Iraq in, I believe, 2003, where Matt Damon plays uh, Warrant Chief Officer Roy Miller. And uh, what he's doing is he and his uh, squad are going after weapons of mass destruction. The problem is they're not finding any, which is kind of odd when you think about it, because weren't there supposed to be like massive weapons of, you know, destruction everywhere? So basically uh, what he does is he's questioning, you know, what's going on. Like, how come we're not able to find any of these weapons of mass destruction? So. This is where Greg Kinnear comes in and he says, look, the intel's good, just do your job. But Brendan Gleeson, head of the CIA, is saying, no, you know what? I kind of agree with you. There's something going on here. And, uh, you know, why don't you work with me and we'll figure it out. Okay, so that's pretty much the plot. You know, they're going around trying to find weapons of mass uh, destruction that don't exist. Uh, the film is... Uh, Pretty action-packed. There's actually a lot more action than I thought there would be. Um, I mean, Paul Greengrass has, you know, he has kind of a, a thing for uh, for action, and especially the way he shoots. You know, the camera's usually going everywhere. You know, and uh, a lot of people are, are, are thinking, God, you know, at least I am. What the hell is going on? I can't see anything. You know, that was a big problem in the Bourne Ultimatum. Uh, for the Bourne Supremacy, he actually kind of calmed down a little bit. You know, and he uh, steadied the camera more, and he let the actors do their job. But in the green zone, for some reason, he still likes to go nuts with the camera. And a lot of the times, the action, you just can't see what the hell is going on. It's really heavily edited. Uh, sometimes it actually got so bad, I couldn't even see or tell who was shooting at who. But, you know, that's just typical of uh, green grass, I guess, and it's kind of like the new style of editing filmmaking so while it was still action-packed the camera work was really really annoying and uh, you know I think Damon and Greengrass are a good combination I don't think they're gonna be doing any more born films but you know it's stuff like this that makes you think god why don't they just use a tripod once in a while I mean is it really gonna kill them so you know I don't I'm not sure if everyone's going to be uh, digging this kind of uh, action movie. I mean, I certainly enjoyed it just because there was so much action that it really didn't bother me at all. As far as, you know, stuff like uh, there's really been plenty of firefights. There's, you know, a lot of uh, confrontation between Brendan Gleeson's character and... Uh, Greg Kinnear's character so that stuff's good and you know there's the whole political message about yes our government you know lied to us and blah 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 and but honestly who gives a crap about all that I mean this is just pretty much an action movie straightforward uh, Matt Damon does what Matt Damon does and that's you know suit up and wear a military suit and fire a gun and Paul Greengrass just grabs the camera and just pretty much does this the entire time so you know, if uh, you're into that kind of thing, I think you'll enjoy it. As far as uh, just a regular action movie goes, if you ignore the political message behind it, then you know I think you'll have a I think you'll have a good time. I'm going to give this movie uh, a B, so I think you guys will enjoy it, and I'll talk to you later.